Hello guys, uh, good morning. I'm Architect Oliver and I prepared another set of question. By this time, uh, principle of planning naman yung topic natin. So, uh, planning is also important dun sa uh, pagre-review nyo. So, I hope this uh, video and the series of questions that I prepared here can help you sa preparation of your uh, licensure examination. So, let's start. Number one, the program for inner city revival which is drive to attract commercial activities to the inner city. Again, the program for inner city revival which is drive to attract commercial activities to the inner city. A. Business center. B. Market center. C. Commercialization D. Financial Center Answer C. Commercialization Number 2 An office mandated to coordinate and supervise the government's housing agencies. It is also tasked in monitoring the performance of the housing sector and involved in policy formulation. Again, an office mandated to coordinate and supervise the government's housing agencies. It is also tasked in monitoring the performance of the housing sector and involved in policy formation. A. NHA B. HGC C NHMFC D HUDCC Answer D HUDCC Number 3 This approach meant Choosing from a small number of policy approaches that can only have a small number of sequences and are firmly bounded by reality, constantly adjusting the objective of the planning process and using multiple analysis and evaluation. Again, this approach meant choosing from a small number of policy approaches that can only have a small number of consequences and are firmly bounded by reality constantly adjusting the objective of the planning process and using multiple analysis and evaluation. A. Incrementalism B. Bargaining model C. Mixed scanning model D. Communicative approach Answer a. Incrementalism Number 4. Mild to steep slope and difficult terrain Again, mild to steep slope and difficult terrain A. 20% and over B. 15% to 20% C. 10% to 15% D. 5% to 10% slope Answer B. 15% to 20% 15 Sorry, number 5 Focuses on interpersonal dialogue that develops ideas which will be turned into action one of the central goals is mutual learning where the planner gets more information on the community and citizens become more educated about planning issues. Again, focuses on interpersonal dialogue that develops ideas, which will be turned into action. One of the central goals is mutual learning where the planner gets more information on the community and citizens become more educated about planning issues. A. Blueprint planning B. 
transactive planning C. Participatory planning D. Advocacy planning Answer B. Transactive planning Number 6 The principal straight street of a Roman town generally running east, west, and cross toward one end by the cardo. Again, the principal straight street of a Roman town generally running east, west, and cross toward one end by the cardo. A. Decumanus B. Demography C. Decentralization and dispersa D. Density Answer A. Decumanus Number 7 An urban plan divided into approximately square building blocks formed by the street patterns. This system of planning can be traced back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia and was prominent in much Greek and Roman planning and in modern planning following such tradition. The planning of American settlement and Gridiron plans characterize the layout of some entirely new towns and cities in the present century. A. Chessboard plan B. Checkmate plan C. Complex plan D. Chess Mac plan Answer A. Chessboard plan or also called checkboard and gridded, gridderon Number 8 the laws provided guidelines for site selection, layout and dimension of street and squares, location of civic and religious building, open space, cultivation, and posturing lands. A. Law of Indies B. Zoning Code C. Site Planning Laws D. City zoning laws. Answer A. Laws of Indies. Number 9. It involves the singling out of one element from a host of possibilities. The key physical characteristic of this class is singularity, singularity some aspect that is unique or memorable in the context A district B paths C landmarks D nodes answer C landmarks number 10 the rate at which water is a so in a soil pit or pipe placed into the soil is taken up by the soil. Again, the rate at which water in a soil pit or pipe placed into the soil is taken up by the soil. A. Infiltration B. Permeability C. Percolation D. Capacity Answer C. Percolation Number 12 The whole plans represent a large-scale application of a round bird principle regularized by the Le Corbusier's predilection for the rectilinear and the monumental. Again, the whole plan represents a large-scale application 
of the rad barn principle regularized by the Corbusier's predilection for the rectilinear and the monumental. A. Philadelphia B. Berlin C. New Delhi D. Chandigarh Answer D. Chandigra Number 13 The first planner and develop the gridigron Again, the first planner and develop the gridiron A. Pericles of Miletus B. Anaximenes of Miletus C. Hippodamus of Miletus D. Minesicles of Miletus Answer C. Hippodamus of Miletus 14. Built under the auspices of Philippine State Authority, this 1,167 hectares of reclaimed land is intended to revive Manila as a city of commerce and tourism. Again, built under the auspices of Philippine State Authority, this 1,167 hectares of reclaimed land is intended to revive Manila as a city of commerce and tourism. A. Boulevard 1999 B. Boulevard 2018 C. Boulevard 2000 D. Boulevard 2020 Answer A. Rather C. Boulevard 2000 15. A type of planning which emphasizes the proper role of the planner is not to serve the general public interest but rather to serve the interest of the least fortunate or least well-represented group in society. A. Advocacy planning B. Urban planning C. Economic planning D. Town Planning Answer A. Advocacy Planning 16. Trading Port Developed by Chinese and Arabs Again, Trading Port Developed by Chinese and Arabs A. Santa Ana, Manila B. Binondo, Manila C. Intramuros, Manila D. Quiapo, Manila Answer B. Binondo, Manila 17. Who designed the second garden city of Welwyn? Again, who designed the second garden city, the Welwyn City? A. Anwin and Parker B. Luis de Soison C. Perry and Stain D. Sir Edward Lutyens Answer B. Luis de Soison 18. This early settlement in Cyprus was the first documented city with streets. Again, this early settlement in Cyprus was the first documented city with streets. A. Nicosia B. Limassol C. Larnaca D. Kirokitia 
Answer? D. Kirokitia. 19. The first developed garden city started in 1902 and designed by Raymond Anwin and Barry Parker. A. Raymond and Barry Garden C. Anwin and Parker Garden C. Letchworth D. Hampstead Garden Answer C. Letchworth 21. The name given by Constantinos A. Doxiadis to the science of human settlement. Again, the name given by Con Constantinos Doxiadis to the science of human settlement. A. Echistics B. Doxiadis settlement C. Conurbation D. Settlement Planning Answer A. Echistics 22. It stems from the depreciation in the value of land or building as the result of planning proposals or planned development. Again, it stems from the depreciation in the value of land or building as the result of planning proposals or planned development. A. Depreciation planning B. Density C. Economic planning D. Blight Answer D. Blight 23. This refers to those activities concerned with uplifting the quality of life and income level of the population through assessment of advantages of economic activities in either agriculture, industry, tourism, services, etc. A. Economic planning B. Physical planning C. Environmental planning D. Social planning Answer A. Economic planning 24. The first step in the site planning process. It defines the problem and its definition. The site design and site planning process begins with the initial problem to be solved. This is started by the client contracting a planner to work with a particular site. A. Research phase B. Site planning C. Analysis phase D. Synthesis phase Answer A. Research Pace 25. A point strategic spots by which an observer can enter intensive foci from which the observer is traveling. Again, a point strategic spots by which an observer can enter Intensive foci from which the observer is traveling. A. Paths B. Nodes C. Edges D. Landmarks Answer B. Nodes 26. He is one of the early pioneers of the concept of the nodal region. 
he suggested that the solution to the large urban areas such as London lay in developing a cluster of new towns linked to the central city in a functional relationship. A. Ebenezer Howard B. Patrick Abercrombie C. Clarence Stein D. William Penn Answer A. Ebenezer Howard 28. Acknowledged as the icon of middle class suburbanization during 1950s. Again, acknowledged as the icon of middle class suburbanization during the 1950s. A. Project 1 to 8. B. Forbes Park. C. Pilam Life Homes. D. Quezon City Answer C. Pilam Life Homes 30. A concept wherein blocks are lengthened and cross street reduced in a number of eliminated. Again, a concept wherein blocks are lengthened and cross street reduced in number or eliminated. A. T intersection B. Super blocks C. Radburn D. Grade separation Answer B. Super blocks 31. Naturally rounded stone small than a boulder and larger than a pebble used for rough paving walls and foundation a boulder b gravel c cobble d silt answer c cobble 32. It is known as the early summer resort of wealth and, uh, and cultured Filipinos, then be, became the first fishing and salt making town. Again, it is known as the early summer resort of wealth and cultured Filipinos, then became the first fishing and salt making town. A. Armita B. Paco C. Malate D. Pandakan Answer C. Malate 33. A term used by Ebenezer Howard to explain the genesis of his idea of a garden city. Howard argued that the cause which drove people into city may all be summed up as attraction. A. Threshold analysis B. Town country magnet C. Systems approach D. Satellite towns Answer B. Town Country Magnet 34. This method of selecting a site is done by selecting the best use and develop su suited for a given site. A. Development Suitability Process B. Site Appraisal C. Site Selection Process D. None of the above. Answer 
A. Development Suitability Process 35. It is a new urbanism strategy used when the redevelopment is no longer an option while still avoiding further physical expansion. This strategy gives the best utilization of existing infrastructure. A. Redevelopment B. Blight C. New Towns D. Infill Answer D. Infill 36. World Fair in Chicago in 1891, setting off the city beautiful era. Again, World Fair in Chicago in 1891, setting off the city beautiful era. A. The Col Columbian Exposition. B. World Cities Expo. C. The White City. D. City Beautiful Movement Answer A. The Columbian Exposition 37. It is also known as the Miracle Grass of Amazing Bioengineering Capabilities. Again, it is also known as a Miracle Grass of Amazing Bioengineering Capabilities. A. Bermuda grass B. Carabao grass C. Vitiver grass D. Wildlife Answer C. Vitiver grass 38. Identify what type of urban growth is shown in the image. Please see the image. Again, identify what type of urban growth is shown in the image. A. Concentric zone theory. B. Multiple nuclei model. C. Sector model. D. Urban Realms Answer B. Multiple Nuclei Model 39. Identify the system of development used. Please see the image. Again, identify the system of development used. A. Branch B. Satellite C. Sheet D. Star Answer B. Satellite 40. The location of buildings on a site or its relationship to, enter to other buildings is extremely important. One of the factors affecting building location and orientation is noise control. If the site is exposed to roadway noise, this could be achieved using the following except A. Adjustment for stop and go traffic B. Adjustment for road gradient C. Barrier adjustment D. Adjustment of street Again, the location of buildings on a site or its relationship to other buildings is extremely important. One of the factors affecting buildings location and orientation is noise control. If the site is exposed to roadway noise, this could be achieved using the following except the answer is D. Adjustment of street.
Okay guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video from uh, beginning until the end. And I hope you get uh, you got something from here. Uh, you learn something. And uh, I hope na makatulong to sa pagre-review nyo. Uh, thank you guys and I hope na you continue watching all the video that I posted. Bye!